what up broncos country welcome back to the channel yes this video is late yes the broncos lose again i uh, got my tj ward jersey on for this one because the defense played their minds out but fortunately the offense lets down the defense again and we end up losing 10 to 9 uh, this one this one hurts this one will, i mean not really anymore i mean two days later it's just is what it is but we lost this game when it actually happened it sucked because you're on the road in baltimore against a it, these guys are probably going to make the playoffs you know you're playing a playoff team um and you were basically winning the entire game until the final drive that the ravens got um of course they went down score a touchdown um which i figured that was going to happen too i just had a weird feeling i was just like you know broncos defense has been doing everything they can do but are they really going to be able to keep the ravens out of the end zone this entire game um but honestly, when they weren't able to score <clears throat> any more than nine points, and I knew that it was a one-possession game, that Ravens might tie this thing up. And sure enough, they were marching there. That final drive that they got, and Tyler Huntley, two-yard run, punches it in. Um, at that point, I had a feeling that it was over. But uh, honestly, the Broncos... Three timeouts, they looked good until that final play where Wilson ran out of bounds. I knew if they didn't get into McManus' range, it wasn't going to happen. They weren't going to win this one. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, so I, mean, I guess we can kind of recap the game here. I know I've just been rambling about the final two minutes. Um so, yeah, you know, the first drive of the game, the Broncos were able to get a field goal 11 plays. Uh, and after that, both teams were punting back and forth until about mm, 10 minutes to go. No, 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 no. About five minutes to go, my bad. In the first, they uh able to get a field goal. The Ravens making a 3-3. After that, both teams decided to punt. Uh, it was that type of game. This is where Lamar Jackson was getting uh, helped off the field because he got hurt in this one. He injured his PCL. Not sure the extent on it. I guess he's going to be out like a week to three weeks. So uh have to keep an eye on that. But uh remember the last time we played Baltimore, it was the whole Vic Fangio and they didn't kneel because they were trying to get the record thing. Uh, honestly, doesn't bother me anymore. That was thrown out the window. This game, completely different. Uh, I do want to apologize for injuring, like, half the Ravens team. I mean, a lot of their good players went down this one. You had, uh, Lamar Jackson, Patrick Queen, uh, ah, who's that one, dude? I believe there was a good corner that we took out. But, yeah, it was just... Well, now you know how we feel. I mean, half of our team is freaking injured. Not like we were purposely trying to hurt them. It was just a physical type of game. This was a defensive game. If you like defense, this is the game you wanted to watch. <clears throat> Anywho, uh, the Broncos able to get a field goal. Uh, towards the end of the first quarter. Uh about 37 seconds in the first 6-3 would be the score um going in a half actually i mean this this game is ugly but like i said defensive the ravens it took them a while to get going and then that final drive that's that's all they needed i mean the broncos offense is just so bad that when it was nine to three because the broncos were able to get a field goal they actually got an interception about i don't know six minutes to go in the third uh by justin simmons 
he just undercut Mark Andrews, got the interception, a beautiful interception, that sets up a field goal, making it 9-3. Uh, Justin Simmons actually got his second interception of the game when Proach, he, uh, it was a trick play, he threw it to the end zone, and Simmons able to leap and get that interception as well. So two interception game for him, um, which is good to see. Justin Simmons, he gets like five picks a season. He got two in this one. Uh, so, yeah, that was cool, but, man, just tough. <laughs> just like the season's been. It's been tough. Uh, then after that, Broncos, of course, get the ball, have to punt it away. Can't take advantage of it. Uh, then the Ravens punt, Broncos punt, and then that's when the Ravens, with under a minute, get the touchdown. It's like 28 seconds left. And, yeah, the Broncos just couldn't do it. <clears throat> Could not get it done, even when they had all three timeouts. Could not do it. Ensuring them to – well. I mean, they tried to kick a field goal, make man a 63 yard. In Denver, it was it was right on. Like, it looked like it was going in. I can't be the only one that thought it was going in. It was like right dead smack in the middle. Just not enough power. Uh, just a little short. So, yep. Another one of them tight games with the Broncos losing. Uh, it's crazy that... You held the Ravens to 10 points, and you can't win. <laughs> I mean, normally, you would be able to win a game like this. If you can hold the Ravens to 10 points, you should be able to win that game, but we couldn't even score more than 10 points. So, yeah, this offense, this is probably one of the worst offensive Bronco teams I've ever witnessed. And uh, defense, though, man, I feel so bad for them. They're... Honestly, they're a playoff-worthy defense, but the offense is probably the worst in the league. Maybe Houston's worse, but this one's bad. It just, every time I watch it, it's hard to watch. But I still put myself through it because I love my team, and I'm going to watch no matter what. Unfortunately, with this loss, it ensures a, another losing season, sixth losing season in a row, 3-9 and nine now. The best they can do is go 8-9. We got five more games, and honestly, I hate to say this, but I can't wait for the season to end. I mean, it's been rough. I mean, it's been rough for every Bronco fan, not just me. <clears throat> so, yeah, uh, hoping that I was reading up on it. They were saying that this off season, that they could make several changes in the front office, which I think is what they needed to do. Because they haven't done that, and it's the same old, you know, Broncos that we've unfortunately been used to seeing these past couple of seasons. It's not all the coach, it's not all the quarterback, even though I don't think Hackett should be here next year just because I don't think he's mentally tough to be the coach of this team. And Wilson, you know, I don't think it's all his fault either. Uh, they really need to upgrade that offensive line. I don't think even... If you think there's an upgrade to Russell Wilson, that it would do anything. I mean, good teams have good old lines, and that's why they succeed. And I mean, look at the Ravens; they got a good old, yeah, good offensive line. Tyler Huntley actually wasn't that bad in this one. He, real quick here, let me look at the stats. He was 27 of 32, 187 yards. He had the interception, but you know. He doesn't play that much, and yeah, I think this is the first time he played this entire season, if I'm not mistaken. So, honestly, you complete all your passes except for five. It's not bad, but that goes to their offensive line. I mean, they got a good old line, um, and that's what we need to get around Wilson. I mean, he's running for his life on every play. He's getting hit way too much. He's on pace for being sacked 50 times this season, which that's just not acceptable, especially if you want to win games. You can't win games if you're getting hit all the time. So, yep. Anywho, I guess we can 
look at the player stats real fast. Well, let's look at the team stats. So Baltimore had 285 yards to Denver's 272 in total yards. Turnovers, so the Baltimore Ravens had two turnovers. Denver had zero. They won the possession game, but couldn't win the game. That's so weird. Uh, Baltimore did have more time possession, 32-29 to 27-31. First downs, Baltimore had 20-12. Um, probably all I'm going to read on this. <coughs> all right, so the we'll go with the Broncos stats here. Russell Wilson, 20, or 17 of 22 for 189 yards. That's it. I mean... He didn't play bad in this one. He's taking care of the football, doing what he needs to do. We need him to do more, but he also doesn't have a lot of weapons around him, you know? I mean, Latavius Murray is not a running back one anymore. He was a couple years ago, but a little old now, or older, and I just don't think he has that burst that he used to once have. So, yeah, he, he, I mean, he's 17 for 47 yards. 17 carries, 47 yards. You know, that's, I don't know, this is not good enough, in my opinion. Maybe bet for a backup, but, you know, this running game's still non existent. Mike Boone, six carries, 18 yards. Russell Wilson, two carries, 21 yards. <sighs> he should not be your second leading rusher. And then Marlon Mack, two carries, three yards. Uh, your leading receiver, Greg Dolchich. Glad to see the rookie get this type of experience because I think he's definitely got a bright future with the Broncos. It's been one of the brightest spots this season. Six catches, 85 yards. Jerry Judy had four catches, 64 yards. Or 65 yards, my bad. Davis Murray, four catches, 14 yards. Kendall Hinn, a catch, 11 yards. Corlin Sutton, goose egg. He had no catches in this game. So, yeah, that's... Uh, but he also did leave this one as well. I, he left with a, uh, I want to say hamstring injury, but I also could be mistaken. There was another player who left in this one as well that was important. Uh, cannot think of the name right now, but just goes to show you, man, the Broncos injuries are just killer. So there's that. Uh, Kendall Hen had to catch 11 yards, but yeah, uh, like I said, man, just not not enough weapons for Russ. It's just a bad situation for him right now. Um, so that's why I'm excited for the offseason. Hopefully they get a new strength and conditioning coach because these guys ain't stretching or something because they get hurt every single freaking year. Um, going to the defense here, I thought Alex Singleton and Josie Jewell, they were all over the field. They were making tackles left and right. It's good to see them, uh, you know, sideline to sideline. But at the same time, I don't know if they're good enough, man. They're all right, but, you know, I'd definitely look into upgrading that position this offseason. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Simmons with the two interceptions. Good to see that. Deshaun Williams had two sacks. So I'm glad that, they, that we were getting to the quarterback in this game. Baron Browning had a sack. And then Jonathan Cooper was the only other player to record a sack in this one. Which Jonathan Cooper and Baron Browning are your top two pass rushers right now. Next week, or this weekend I should say, we play the Kansas City Chiefs. So, yeah. Strap in Broncos country. This is, uh... <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Uh, <laughs> Anywho... Maybe Randy Gregory would be good for that one, and Lloyd Cushenberry will come back. That would be a boost to the whole line, but still, does it really matter? Not really. Anywho, um, all for the defense. Uh, kick return, return game, just non-existent still. Brandon McManus, he was three for four. Did what he had to do, just could not make that final kick, which a lot of people are saying he's in clutch, but it's a 63-yard kick, man. That's not easy to make i mean his long is like 58 i mean if it was five yards closer he might have made it uh but like i said when wilson was not able to pick up them five yards getting to the target range and he ran out of bounds 
I had a feeling that it wasn't going to happen. So before the kick even happened, I just was like, it's not going to happen. And I was like, just prepare for disappointment. <laughs> and it didn't happen. I didn't feel disappointed. So, <laughs> oh, man, this is, this sucks. It's, it's so painful in Broncos country, but. You know, you just got to take the pot good with the bad, you know. It's uh, made me realize how much I love this team, man, no matter what. We could go 3-14, and 14, still be here. So, uh, hoping to get my preview for this Sunday's game when we take on the Chiefs in Denver. Uh, bearing anything happening, but in you, stay tuned for that. Other than that, stay safe, be good. Go Broncos. Strap in Broncos country. It's going to be a long ride. All right. Have a good one. Peace.